What's up guys, Filterless here. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to get the graphics we're seeing on the right with slightly increased FPS at Ultra using a file we can download and just swap out versus on the left, we're running the original medium settings and it doesn't look very good. If we rewind here, if you look at the rocks up at the top right here, you'll see it's quite a bit more blurry and we're losing FPS. So it looks amazing at this Ultra setting. And just another quick example, I did a little run through the tunnels and you can see the FPS is really close. And here you can really see the difference between them. This is extremely clear. It might not look like it on YouTube, but it's a massive difference giving you that extra clarity. And we're not losing performance. We're actually slightly gaining a couple FPS. It looks like with this better setting. And as a last little example, I just wanted to show you on the city. Here we are at 900p ultra with just the original settings without a modified file. We're at 18 FPS. And then with the modified file, 900p ultra, we're actually sitting at 33. That's a huge difference. And if you look between them, I actually think the right one looks better. If you look right here, when people are walking by, I think this looks better. It's just clear overall, even if we look back here. Now, one thing that does change is the ambient occlusion that you see over here has been reduced pretty greatly over here. However, this is a massive bump in performance and I played around with this and I will tell you it is completely worth getting. And I want to give a quick shout out to Gamers Generation. I saw this video where he did this performance mod, so I looked into it and did it myself and it's a great improvement and so the first thing you're going to do is open up your browser then we're going to type in nexus mods here you'll see nexus mods and community go ahead and click on that here you'll see login at the top right go ahead and click on that and if you don't have an account it's free to register i already have an account so i'm going to go ahead and log in then up at the top we have search we're going to click that we're going to click this little drop down and click on games and then we're going to type in Starfield here and you'll see down right here. Starfield should show up. Just click on that to open it. And once it's open, we need to scroll down and we'll see popular 30 days or you can do popular all time. And I'm just going to scroll down and click on view more. And you can also search it. What we're looking for is this custom presets for FPS boost and shout out to Zaya kid for making this. This is awesome. It's unbelievable how good this actually looks. And he went through and adjusted all these settings manually. It probably took a while. I'll leave this link in the description. We're going to go to this files tab and there's two files here and I tested both and there's really no difference between the maximum performance preset or the ultra. So I just suggest using the ultra as it seems to work really well and so what you're going to want to click on is manual download down at the bottom then we're just going to click on slow download it's a pretty small file it's not going to take long you'll see this is in .rar format so we need to download 7-zip which is free to be able to open it so you're going to want to go to google and type in 7-zip then you'll see this first link that says download we can just click on that and here at the top i'm just going to download the 64-bit version so i'm just going to click the download link once it's downloaded i'm just going to open that exe then click install. You'll see it's going to program files and that's it. It's installed. Now you're going to, want to navigate to your downloads folder and drag that ultra file over to your desktop. Then we can just right click on this file. Do open with at the top. We're going to click choose an app on your PC. We're going to navigate to the seven zip folder. If you're not there, click on this PC, go to your C drive, and then it should be under program files and it'll be right at the top and I'll say seven zip. So open that up and then you're going to want to click on this 7Z FM. And then at the bottom, you can click always if you want to use that for future files or to click just once. And there's our ultra INI file. So drag that over to your desktop. Then we're going to need to right click on the start menu button. Go to file explorer. Then you're going to go to this PC. You're going to open the C drive here. And then if you're using the Xbox Game Pass version down here, it's going to be under Xbox games and then Starfield. If you're using Steam, you're going to want to open Steam. You're going to want to find Starfield in your library. I have it on Game Pass. I don't have it on Steam, but I'll just use Generation Zero as an example. You're going to right click on it. We're going to go to Manage and then Browse Local Files. And that will open up the same directory so we can drag the file in there. And once you've opened Starfield and opened the content folder, you're going to want to find the ultra INI file in here because we're going to make a backup 
of it just in case there's any issues. So you can click the little checkbox next to it, right click on it, and we can click this little icon to copy it or you can hit Control C. We're gonna navigate to our desktop and we're gonna do new and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna name this Starfield INI Backup. Then we're gonna open that up, right click and paste that in there. So we have the original file, just in case we wanna restore that back. Now we can go ahead and drag the ultra file on our desktop over to the Starfield directory. And we can click replace file and destination and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. Then when you start the game, I did notice that sometimes it does crash when you're loading in one, two, maybe three times, and then it will continue to load fine. I'm not sure what's going in the background, maybe something weird, but after that, it seems to be working perfect. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you have it set to the ultra graphics preset as that's the one we replaced and that's the one it's going to be using. If you change any of these other settings in here, it will overwrite the values that were in that file. So you probably don't wanna do that. And if you lower the graphics preset down to something like medium or low, then that will actually change it to the other INI files. So we've only modified or replaced that ultra file. So when we're on ultra, we can just leave it as B. You can adjust the sharpening as you'd like and even the render resolution i found the defaults to work really well and i am very pleased with the results and a couple other things to note that i think are really important is i tried rsr on with fsr turned all the way off and the results were pretty terrible this is using the modified file but i also tried it on the other files and rsr there's a performance hit no matter what and i really didn't like it it's not something i would use in this game and you can even see all this glitching back here and as soon as we turn it off, you'll see a lot of that is gone and our FPS jumped to 37. So if you look back here, we're at about 30 with it on. And then as soon as we turn it off, look at that, it's gonna go up to about 37 right there. So a nice performance bump. And I still think it looks really good. And this is how I play the game is at 720p with this modded file on Ultra. And I love the experience because you get really nice high frame rates and it still looks really good. So that's how I'm personally playing it. And so the other thing I wanted to test is 17 watts to see can we actually have a battery profile on this. And we definitely can with the modified file because we're getting such good performance. Before I was running 30 watts just to try to get it playable. This is actually playable at 17 watts. So here we're running through the town, running to the little train station. I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit so we can just keep going. And I'm just running around trying to find some intense areas. And here as I start going out to a more open area, you can see now we're getting closer to those mid 30s and almost approach 40 there for a second. So this really is great performance. And one other thing I did test is down here at the initial loading screen, you see we're getting 56. That's with 17 watts and look how good it looks. I think it looks pretty awesome with that modified file. And then just running around in the cave a little bit at the initial start of the game, we're getting in the 60s, right at 60 for the average at 17 watts. So when you're in less demanding areas, you're actually gonna be able to get a really good frame rate. The city is one of the most intense areas and that was still getting about 30, which is great. If you're on battery, you can actually use the 17 watt profile. And the other thing I did test just real quick, I ran four tests each with uh, CPU boost on versus off at 900p. And really there's almost no difference. You'll see the clocks up at the top. So if we look up here, we can actually see the GPU is clocked a bit higher. So it's showing less percentage, but they're probably about the same. It's because the clock's higher. And my guess is, the CPU is pulling away resources from the GPU. And in all these tests, in the first run that I did, it actually does look like CPU boost is giving us a slight performance edge. But then as we're turning here, now it's right back to normal. And here jumping into the second run, you can see they're basically the same now. In fact, the right side was slightly higher right there and that's with boost off. So then I ran this test and all I'm doing is basically running up here, running around this tree, and you can just look at the FPS for yourself and see we're right at 32, 33. And then at the end, I kind of just pause. And right here, we're at 33 on both. This is like 3x speed, I believe. So I ran it again. This is the third run right here. And you'll see we're going to be right at 33 again or so. And even right here, I mean, we're at 35, 33. 
We can rewind it a little bit and see. There we go, 35, 34. You can go back 32, 33, but I'm sure look, boost will be ahead. There you go, 33, 32. So, you know, it it might matter a little bit, but it's not enough for, I, I really don't think anybody's gonna see a difference whether it's on or off. I mean, it is basically exactly the same. However, there is one area where it really does matter and that is in the menu. So here we are, 164 FPS or so, but look at this usage. 29 watts of usage, 81 degrees Celsius, and it's boosting up about 3,900 plus here and there. And so since we're getting such a high FPS and it's boosting so high, I just wanted to see if it makes a difference when we disable it. So here we just disabled it and you can see the temperatures dropping. We're down to 12 watts from 30 and we're still getting 164 in the menu. So nothing changed. You can see we're locked at the 3200 or so and we're down to 54 Celsius. So 12 watts on the menu. So if you ever pause and you're going into the menu and it's sitting there, you're going to be draining more than double the wattage, having CPU boost on and you're going to be at 81 Celsius. That's almost 30 degrees just by having boost on, which is the main reason I leave it off. So here, let's take a look. I'm gonna enable it right here. Here we go, aggressive, and then watch it. 52 Celsius, I'm gonna do 2X, 65. There we go, 75. So it's just going up, and now we're all the way back up at 30. And if you wanna run CPU boost, I say go for it. Run the system how you wanna run it. If you wanna go even over and use a program to be able to get to 40 watts and max fans, run the system how you like it. I personally do not run CPU boost on basically anything. It's just something I don't like having on the fans are loud or hotter temps. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope it helped you out, provided some value. This is great to get that extra clarity like we're seeing right there on the right. I love it. Now it's really playable. I also put this on my Asus G15. Makes a huge difference even on that with the dedicated graphics card. So this is pretty much for everybody from what I can see and it's a nice improvement. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like, hit the sub, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.